I hope to become a neonatal nurse and I'm going to attend Texas Tech as well as build up to become a nurse practitioner. I want to be a pediatrician. Um, I love kids and I just want to help them in as many ways as I can. I plan on going to college and then I have no clue what I'm doing after that. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be an engineer or at least something in the math and science fields. I think that teaching um, needs to be more hands-on with the students. And as like, technology is like, more incorporated, we need to have like, hands-on learning, like practical applications for stuff we learn because like, in math and, like, math and science especially, it's really challenging for me because I'm like, an English person, but like, when we can like, apply math and science to things in daily life and like, how things actually work in the world, it really like, connects it and it makes it stick better in my brain. So like, I think teachers need to use more technology and like, practical applications to really connect their students to what they're learning and help them like, utilize information. I think the new um, bring your own technology thing is a step in the right direction because if you're like a doctor and you don't know what a word is, you're going to be like, let me find my textbook. You're just going to get your phone out and search the word. You know, so in real life, it's not put your phone away, put your laptop away. You can use all your resources. So um, being able to use our resources helps us to learn better and learn, learn on our own, which helps me best. I think the teachers need to be uh, more updated on technology because though they may know math and science and whatever better than us, we can work an iPhone and iPad better than they will ever know how. So if they were um, more uh, up to date with their technology and knowing how we could use ours, we would be able to use it better and they would be able to um, teach us with it so we could utilize it to its full potential. And if we could put like textbooks onto the iPad and maybe put a barcode on it and they could check one out and take it to take it home and have the textbook app on it like have textbooks on it it'd be a faster way to learn and we wouldn't have to worry about like the four books that we have to bring home and then turn back in later in the year so that would be a better way to organize stuff and get it more into the future there i mean like school web um there has been times when that web page cannot be shown. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a visual learner, um, personally. Um, I like when teachers give us like graphic organizers and things that I can, you know, have a picture associated with a bunch of words, um, not necessarily just reading text out of a textbook. I think it's very important to engage your students in um, everyday instruction because, you know, you don't just want them to be sitting in the desk. Um, and be handed six worksheets that have to be completed and then that's your class time. Um, the teacher should be, you know, actually teaching like up in the front and, uh, you know, doing activities, group activities, stuff to remember the information more than just, here's your worksheets, it's going to be like this every day and very routine. We need like a little bit um, of different stuff to do. You don't want to go into a classroom and just be like, you know, like a scary noise comes up, like dun dun dun, like you're going into a classroom. <laughs> but um, I think it should be comfortable, and you know, group tables, like for discussions and stuff, should be available um, instead of so much individual learning. Because, like I said before, you can learn a lot better in groups. So. Like engaging the students in a class discussion or something, because I you know, class discussions really help me, as as well as visual and audio and group work and lab work and science and stuff. Um, I think it's important for teachers um, to help build a mutual respect between the students and the teacher as well as just amongst the students in general. It, it just, it's just kind of, all right, I can do the math here, but you know, like what is this? And I got an AP test in May, so really trying to understand what's going on before we move on to the next thing so being able to work in an actual lab with the materials that we're learning about hands-on with my peers and just being able to comfortably talk about it with the teacher and other students really helps me that goes on, along with the hands-on thing it's just kind of being able to really see it I think if, you know, more outside world hands-on uh, <laughs> activity. I think as far as the school district being um, run better for our education, um, 
it's a whole generation gap thing again because they grew up different than we did, so they learned different. Like they didn't have video games and all that stuff. And the higher ups um, are normally older, and uh, you know they grew up in a different time and they were to exposed as much. And you know with TV and everything bad and different now, um, we just learn different. And I think they really need to study and figure that out. That we're not just like them. You know we didn't. We didn't go out and play when we were bored when we were little. We played video games, so it's a generation thing. I think that if something gets removed, there should always be something to replace it and reasoning as to why it benefits us in a better way. I think so, like, because we're doing all of these, like, information sessions and all of these things to try to change the future. I think definitely in 10 years, it's going to be, like, maybe almost the total opposite. And we're kind of, we're going to hope that we were in that environment rather than how we are now. I guess. Maybe like in 10 years, we probably won't even have textbooks anymore. And then it'll all be technology based. And hopefully, maybe every classroom and every school could have a computer access for every student to use. And like projectors to, for teachers to show um, visuals, like Morgan was saying. I agree. I think LASD has like great potential and has like amazing opportunities ahead of us. If the students know more about the schools and the like opportunities we have, we can do such great things. We could all like change our learning and we could all just enhance our high school and our middle school so much better because we can learn such like more diverse things now.